Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And just yesterday, I made a video about, somebody asked if you could make color with textures. Well, you can't really, that I know of. But you can bring wood off the internet, pictures of wood, and use them, you know, and then make them the size you want. And if you want to watch that video, and then take your text and write a text. And then if it doesn't show up, you got to remember, you can always put it, let's just do it. Let's put it. Uh, the wood to the front of the page and then you can't see your text so you could just select your text or put the wood in the back of the page so put the text in the front of the page and that's how you could show a customer somebody asked me how you could say that where you wouldn't have to go to the internet and find that wood every time well you've got the file the easiest thing for me to do would be to go save it and I've saved it and then when I wanted it again, all I'd have to do is go import it and type in wood. I saved it as wood, maple, and walnut. And there you have it. Now, one thing with this, it's the same thing. You have to go to object and group because when it imports something, it does it together. Now, you could open this. You could open that file because it's a Corel file. And if... For the, those of you that don't know the difference between opening and importing a, a file, when you open the file, the pieces are just like the file was. It's not. Uh, and the reason you'd want to import it is if you were working on a plaque, and this isn't what the video is about, and you're working on a you're working on a plaque, and you've got some, you've got your text. Well, that didn't work very well. You've got your text done. You're ready to show the customer what it's going to look like. And you go, well, it sure be nice to have that on maple background. Well, then you can go import it, and it's not going to take this thing away. It's just going to bring it into that file. You can always import two Corel files or more on top of each other. So then you can do that and go to object, order, back a page and, and, but then again, you imported this, so you have to break these apart. But that's not what the question was about today. The question was, how could you save those somewhere else? So let's go ahead and bring them in. And let's go to open and let's go to uh, that wood again. And you can save them inside of a program inside of Corel called Connect. So go up here to launch Corel Connect, and you can see I've already got them up there. So I'm going to add something else. Let's say I want this anchor. All I have to do is grab that anchor and bring it into my tray. Uh, you know, there's several. You could put hundreds of items in there if you wanted to, but I'm looking for another Corel file. That's a pretty cool butterfly squiggle that I sometimes forget I have. Now, how do you go access that? Very easy, it's a tray docker. Windows, dockers, trays, and you can make it bigger, and uh, if you wanted that wood, all you have to do is just drag it into your picture. If you wanted that anchor, just drag it into your, into your workspace. So that's a tray docker. And then you X out and you've got your wood. I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.